Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you a really fast video in under two minutes here how to cancel your HostGator account, uh, whether it be hosting or domain services. Um, they have made it a little bit more difficult here. So actually you'll just go to HostGator.com backslash cancel. You're going to scroll down and you're going to log into your account here. Go ahead and press log in. And then you're going to see the packages that you currently possess. Um, so it says which package would I like to cancel. If you have multiple services or multiple domains or what have you, um, you'll have multiple check boxes. So just check the one that you want. Um, now, unfortunately, HostGator in the past actually did not do this, but now they've decided to change things and try and retain their customers. Um, so you press, you know, why do I wish to cancel? You can see that it is required. They have the little asterisks. Um, so you have to go down here and choose one of these um, for this case and this client it's going to be not needed. Um, they've decided to move to my hosting so they're moving here, moving to a different hosting company. And you can see that they no longer let you submit it. Um, they're going to make you call them uh, or start a live chat and by pressing this button it will take you to a page that will you know, let you log into your account um, in order to chat with them online. Um, I have tried almost every single option that um, they provide under here. Um, I've tried almost all of these. I've clicked on basically every single one of these and there's no way that I can fill up all three of these that are that are required um, without that notification popping up. So um, maybe that you found one that, that works but I've, I've clicked on every single one of these and it no longer lets me fill all of these in and press cancel the account. I have to reach out to them and call them first. Um, it's just a way for them to retain their customers and make it more difficult on you. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the phone number that you would call um, or start a live chat with them and they can go about canceling the services for you. Thanks guys and I hope that uh, helped clear up some questions you might have.